hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing leave a like and a comment down below if you've been here for a while and or have just joined recently thank you so much for subscribing your support does mean the world to me um so i just want to start off by saying thank you um i've had a few donations lately and um i was actually coming back from scotland in the car this afternoon obviously i wasn't driving but um so I was on my phone and um, I got one through and that was quite a surprise. And then there was one when I got home as well, when I wasn't looking at my phone. So I just want to say thank you so much. You people really do kind of like make me feel like valued and it's it's just kind of nice. Um, but honestly, liking, subscribing, sharing is absolutely amazing as well. Thank you so much for all of that. And any support, all your support, I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. Today we're going to do a little bit of a reading about um, King Charles's game plan, like looking long term forecast. Um, so we're going to have a look at that now. I'm going to be using the Radiant Rider Waite deck. It is Saturday the um, it's 19th of Monday, 17th. So it's the 17th today. It's Saturday the 17th, I think. Um, so yeah. So we're going to have a look. I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck. It is 8 o'clock in the evening UK time. Let's have a look. Let's see what's happening. King Charles and Meghan and Harry. Just before I start as well, I am going to get this wobble with the camera sorted out. It's just a little bit oof, at the minute. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, straight away. What's King Charles's plan? He is focused on Meghan. He has read the room and he's read her and he understands her as well. It wouldn't be surprising if he's getting some advice with it. The Queen of Wands in reverse is um, somebody who's a player. But in the bad sense of the world, it's all right to have a bit of a hustle. But when the hustle is a bit aggressive, when the hustle stamps on people, other people to get them on the way up, kind of like a social climber, then that can be a very kind of negative experience, quite narcissistic kind of energy here. Um, she is a, yeah, so he's on to it. He's got, he knows, he knows, he knows what's crossing him about it happy families okay happy families in reverse um the ten of cups is all about celebration and it sometimes when it's in reverse it can show that it's kind of this faux kind of togetherness it's a family that has been upended the cups being a very emotional suite so there's a lot of turbulent emotions around this and there's a lot of turbulent emotions around um harry and his wife so i do believe like he's quite quite um fine with it he understands it and then what's above the situation <laughs> it's the five of pentacles guys he knows they've ostracized themselves and this five of wands is underneath as well the fives are always quite difficult cards He's aware that they are out on the cold. He, he's aware that people will be putting them out in the cold. But he's sick of the back and forth and the fake drama and the battering of each other with it. What's leaving the situation? The devil. Oh, my God. Right. OK. He knows there's been manipulations. He's seen through the manipulations because the devil's in the outer outside now it's in the past he knows there's been coercion he knows there's been control he knows there's been lies and deceits and people pulling on heartstrings and making mountains out of molehills and all those kinds of things he knows there's been lies and they that within that past aspect the way it's aspected around the cards it shows to me that he's very aware of what is going on so what's his next move? The moon. Okay. And then we have two of pentacles. What's this one? 
Two of Swords. Yep, there's the Queen. Justice. Okay. So, what is coming up? We have got some secrets revealed. We've got some shady business going on. We have got the two of pentacles in reverse. It's unbalanced. Things are up in the air. Things are all over the place. Um, and the two of swords, he's made up his mind about something, though. He's felt conflicted, but he's made up his mind about something. Because what it's been about is the high priestess in reverse. The queen has passed on. The high priestess is the queen in my when I do readings on the royal family. And justice is coming up. There is something he's he is very quietly playing a long game here. He has seen her for what she is. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse there. Um we have the devil leaving the situation. So he's realised that things have kind of come. He's realised there has been manipulation, there has been lies, there has been control. Um, that things have been taken out of context, of context and weaponised. With the five of wands underneath it, he's sick of the bickering. He's sick of. He has no time for bickering. He is absolutely zero. And what is known, well, you can read between the lines. You can see what what's happening with the royal family and how they're kind of shaping and how they're kind of forming now after the end of the, um, how, how things are working out now, what's in the media, etc. And the five pentacles shows that there is somebody with outside the royal family. But with the moon coming in and then justice... He really does still feel like he's he's going to go through a a period of grief. But I don't necessarily think we are going to get the whole truth. Um, I don't... In the media anyway. Hmm. I'm going to pull some cards for Megan. I do feel like this is... <laughs> They have got them where they want them. Six of Swords, okay. Unwanted Journeys. Doesn't necessarily want to be here. Moving on. The tower. Okay. Justice in reverse. Okay. The high priestess in reverse. Guys, this is insane. These cards are insane sometimes. Wow. Let me just pull them out. Hello. Are you blessing the reading? Thank you. <laughs> Thank right. Okay, so ignoring my cat <laughs> for a second, we have got the Six of Swords there, which is an unwanted journey. We have the Justice in reverse, which is aspected into the Justice card, which is in King Charles's future. That, which means she is feeling very hard done by. She thinks like um, that everything's out of skewed about her, that the papers aren't telling the truth about her. The tower, she is going through a tower moment at the minute. And here we have the, the high priestess in reverse, the queen's death. We have the king of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. 
might be trouble at Miller's this eight. Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. There's the Prince of Pentacles again. Always comes out for Megan. The Star in reverse. Seven of Wands. Again. Why does this King of Wands keep coming up? Who is this King of Wands guy? This is the second or third reading that the King of Wands has come up. Is this is this a new PR person? Who is this? Okay, so um, here we have how she's feeling at the minute as well. We've got the Prince of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, we used to get the Princess of Pentacles for us, sorry. The Prince of Pentacles, um, the Knight of Pentacles, is somebody who is... You know, quite sure of themselves. Thinks they can do quite good things. They tend to be grounded. Within this deck, it's um, Merlin. And you can see he's banishing something from his window. Um, so she feels kind of like very put upon. She does feel like her star is diminishing. This is usually a card of good fortune, new ideas, fresh ideas. So what's surrounding her at the minute? It's it's attention, but is it good attention? And here we have the Seven of Wands. Again, she's going to find the next few months challenging. Right now, what's coming up is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, the Ace of Cups in reverse is... The Ace of Cups upright is a very positive card. In reverse, it's kind of positive, but then it has its negatives. It's kind of like... It's kind of hedonistic. Woo, I'm having loads of fun. Maybe... I don't think she's having loads of fun, by the way. I really feel like it might be something like... Um, uh, having to focus too much on, I don't know, meditation. You can meditate too much. That is a thing. Um, you can uh, self-medicate too much. You can um, use substances to numb your feelings. Um, it could be something like that. It's also very MK, ultraly, ultraly kind of like little bit gaslight eerie kind of stuff coming on um so yeah because the, ca the cards here cross over and she's having a tower she is so much the tower's been coming out this is a tumult tumultuous time as well for her the king of pentacles in reverse upright oh, it is harry it is um because he's a virgo with it in reverse it seems like they might have well had a little kind of spat and a falling out about a few things. And the King of Wands in the future. In reverse. Bad news, bad businesses. Overly confrontational PR. Overly confrontational stuff, so... That's very interesting, 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 interesting. Let me just have a look and see how long-term Prince Charles is with Harry. And we'll see if any of these ones match as well. the star in reverse there it's crossing king of wands again the world knight of coins the devil oh Five of coins in reverse. That was on Megan's as well. 
Five of Cups is regret. Moving on from heartbreak. So, we have the devil in the past as well, which is coercion control. Um, again, when I've asked Prince Charles about, when I asked Prince Charles, King Charles, when I asked about King Charles's plan, they both have got the same one in the past. King Charles has realised what's going on here. With the Knight of Coins in reverse, he thinks Harry's immature because this is um, he showed up in Meghan's as the king but as a knight of pentacles or a knight of coins in this one um, in reverse he's seen as immature spending money is more concerned about status and accessories than accessories um not accessories that's the wrong word more the status symbols and things like that rather than saying that he has got a lot of love for his son you've got the star there um but it is diminishing the world is watching we've got the world there um he knows that his son is getting quite a negative press in quite a lot of places so he's very aware of that and the king of wands there five of cups okay so that in reverse hmm five of cups there Again, regret. He's regretting something. And the heartbreak that surrounds Harry, he's trying to get over. We have the Ace of Wands there. And the Four of Wands there. And the Five of Cups in reverse. In the long term, um, which are the cards from here out, really? We could see some kind of little bit of bringing in from the cold. A little bit. Two of Wands. Five of Cups there. While he's been doing a balancing act, Harry has feel, felt very regretful. He's got hurt. He's still hurt however long term we have got the king of wands in reverse we have got justice for overall justice for king charles in reverse king of wands for megan and the four of wands um here for harry it kind of feels like his stability is going to get knocked further and I don't feel like it's anything that King Charles can kind of do because it looks to me that there is some kind of shady kind of, like there is some kind of um, things going on in the background. Um, so when you see all those puff pieces and stuff, it's not really real. This isn't what's happening. Um, there might be a faux reconciliation. Because whatever it is, it doesn't last. Because he has his stability knocked again. His will turned upside down again. To me, weighing up... I know there's a lot of cards. Um, weighing up all of these... 
like the energies against we've had similar cards we've had the same cards and we have had um very contrasting energies i mean we've had the devil in the same position for what prince charles thought of them and the relationship with harry and then yeah i very much the relation megan's relationship with harry is through with charles sorry is through harry and that's it there will be nothing else um it's only by association now and the devil um, he's realised. He's realised what's been happening to them. He's realised the manipulation, and he kind of blames. I would say. I'd say he he went after them both equally. But who is this King of Wands guy? What is this King of Wands? There, there is somebody. who is manipulating and coercing the situation and it's not Omar Scooby. Um <laughs> oh, no. Um <laughs> I don't think it's him. Um but um yeah it is just wild what is going on. I do appreciate your input. Of course, I don't know everything about the royal family. I'm not a fountain of all knowledge and news. Um, but it's interesting because sometimes you guys, you know different things. Like you say, oh, this happened there and that happened there. And it kind of ties in because I don't necessarily, like I do follow them a lot. But sometimes you've read something that I haven't. And it's really helpful. So if you can just like... Um, comment on anything you've noticed in the readings that's also appreciated um the decks i've used today if you've made it this far are the barbara walker tarot the radiant right away and the garbage pale kids i can't help it i love this deck so um thank you very much for being here i hope you enjoyed the reading and i will hopefully see you on the next one bye guys <laughs>